Hey, tabletop fans. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing of two of the Spelljammer miniature ship collections. One is Welcome to Wild Space, and the other is Asteroid Encounters. So we're gonna run through some of these. Additionally, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do just for basic movement. We'll have a full ship to ship combat tutorial video in the future detailing how to do it. Right now, Wizards recommends buying the Ghosts of Saltmarsh book and using ship to ship sea combat. What I would do instead, because it's actually cheaper, is go on drivethroughrpg.com and buy the War Captain's Companion for the original Spelljammer. It has all the ships ever in any of the Spelljammers, so like 30 that weren't in either of the original box sets. It also has the original combat rules, tables, and so forth to roll against. And we'll explain a little bit of that today, but mostly in a future video. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do an unboxing. And I don't have a knife, but you have a sword. Okay. <laughs> not, not like that, sir. <laughs> it's my sword. Okay. So first, we'll start with the Welcome to Wild Space, the intro set. Okay, yeah. sir, you want to cut it? Cut it with the sword? Cut, 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 cut. Good job, cut. sir. Although, I know halflings might do things differently, but I would recommend grabbing it by the handle in the future. Got it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at these miniatures. So first, we have the squid ship, and these are very nice quality. The material, you wanna feel that? So from the original box set, here's the stats. So the squid ship was built by humans. It was used primarily by human types, so including halflings, sir. And then lizardmen as well. So I know lizardmen aren't in the new set, but as I said, we're gonna play with the original rules. So mostly by human types. So humans, halflings, gnomes, dwarves, and then lizardmen as well use this ship. It is a pretty nice ship. It can be used for war purposes. It's often used by pirates, uh, military types. So this is one of the coolest ships, probably my favorite when I was a kid. What do you think of this ship, sir? Good and bad. Good and bad. So this is a space galleon. So <laughs> galleon? Galleon. So this is like an actual seafaring ship that was converted into a spacecraft. Mm -hmm. to fly the seas. So as such, it's not as maneuverable as a lot of the other ships. And this is mostly used by ground humanoids. Again, sir, you might find some halflings on these. That's right. So this has the a maneuverability class of E, which is, means it's not very maneuverable just in space because it was originally built for the water. Um, but popular, popular type of ship just to throw a spell jamming helm on and take off into space. Here yeah. are the stats. We will post uh, a yeah. full list of all the stats later. So the Space Galleon. So regular seafaring vehicle turned into land a lot of times in the Forgotten Realms near Waters Deep. You see these and people don't know that there's a spell jamming helm on board. Um, so this could be used by anybody, but again, military, yeah. pirates, but it's thought to be yeah. a lower class of vehicle in some yeah. regards. Although it can carry a lot of people and a lot of cargo. So now we have one of my favorites, the Shrike ship. So the Shrike ship was built as a scout. It's very fast, very agile, a great maneuverability class, but it does not have a lot of cargo, does not have too much weaponry, but it can hold its own. Uh, it does have low hull points at only 20 hull points. Again, we're playing with the old rules. I think it's lower in hit points in the new book as well. Humans, also lizardmen, popular amongst them. This one is good for landing on land. It does not do that well in water. It can technically land in water, but a rough sea and it will capsize. So, but great, fast, little space hearing ship. Maybe a first ship for us, right, sir? Um, and maybe me captain. You're the captain? I thought mommy was the captain. It's okay, you can be the captain. Is, is, there, me. is this a mutiny already, sir? Um, um, the next ship we have is a bombard. So this ship, is the favorite amongst the GIF. It's a special ship for the GIF. So the GIF are the hippopotamuses, sir. Do they, oh, do they, do they call it Bombard because, they, because in that ship people throw bombs? They call it Bombard because see this in the front? It's got a massive cannon on it. So in the original box set, this was not one of the ships included. However, this was in subsequent modules, one of the released ships and a popular one at that. First ship that was 
basically full gift crews, except for usually they had like a human wizard or something as the, the helmsman. So our fifth miniature is an ancient gold dragon. Yeah. The back part or the wings part, it look like leaves. It's very beautiful. Why does it have two horns? Because it's ancient. Like old. It's like if daddy gets old, it just gets grayer and grayer <laughs> and furrier and furrier. <laughs> so this is not the ship, but this is something we might encounter in space. <gasps> exactly. Hold your breath. It's space. So this is the Welcome to Wild Space Collection. What do you guys think? Uh, I think oh. this is perfect. I so think perfect. you need to put the little thing in the back so that they can see it properly. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys think of this set? It's amazing. Mm. I love it. Sir, what do you think? What's I the think, halfling think? A bad and good. Bad and good? What about you, Sissy? Meow, 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 meow. That sums it all up. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> I'll just buy the handle Such first. a good pretend <laughs> handle. Okay. So we get two asteroids in this set. These are really cool. You could use these in games like Star Wars Armada instead of the cardboard asteroids they give you. Uh, there's another set that I think has a couple more in there, so I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do with these. So what do you think of the asteroids, sir? It's a wasp, not a mosquito. A mosquito is a different shit. <laughs> so this is a wasp. This is a surprising one for, that they included in this set to me because this is 100% used by lizard men. This is built by lizard men, used by lizard men. It's a scout ship for them. It's pretty quick, but not that maneuverable. So next we have a hammerhead ship. It's like a shark, sir. Yeah, and it's not a fish. It's not a fish? It's, it's a, a fish. spaceship, right, sir? It does. So favorite warship from amongst humans, elves, and lizardmen. That's beautiful. So next we have an aesthetic ship. So this one is actually a creature. <laughs> so this one's actually a creature, like it's like alive. The ship is alive, like in the movie Magicians. Yeah? Yeah. So it's alive? It's a living ship, yep. So this is predominantly piloted by Rygar. They're the ones that made the organism that is the ship. It's an alien people. Does it eat people? Probably. Next, CL, you told me this was your favorite ship. It's a tree at all. Yeah. What type of tree is it? Uh, I don't tree know. Boat. A magic tree. It's the living ship. A so, tree boat. Yeah. Tree. The cool thing about this one is it always produces more air. So you don't need like more air for space. Daddy, daddy, you don't have to stop daddy, and get daddy, fresh daddy. air. Is that because of the Daddy, 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 yep. daddy, if you like tree, hey, tickle. Can tickle, that, tickle? Oh yeah, the big tree. Can, can that be our purple? It's either this one or this one that we're gonna, the Shrike or the, the tree, the living ship. I want the tree. Okay. 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 So it sounds like this is going to be our ship. The cool thing about this ship is this is the only ship in the new set that was not in the original game. Mm -hmm. So our final item is a megapede and it's floating around on an asteroid. It's like a giant centipede creature in space. It's like a giant space worm, sir. What do you think? On top of the big rock. Oh, yeah. Scary, huh? <laughs> we have a story we kill that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry you're going to kill that. <laughs> Sir, I think you have to do mega damage to it. So like hull points, you gotta fire cannons from the ship. Um, maybe. Uh, uh, it's not big enough to be And maybe, uh, maybe a dragon launcher boat. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is a pretty large set. Had trouble getting the whole thing in the picture. What do you guys think? Good. Good. It's good. Yeah. It is amazing. So I do want to get the Astral Elf Patrol set. Definitely want to get a Star Moth. We also would like to get a Wild Space Ambush set. Yar. So hope you enjoyed seeing those unboxings and learning about some of these ships. Stick around for a little bit. We're going to briefly show how we do space movement. Uh, this is our battlefield. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.
So in the original spell jammer, they gave us a hex map inside of it. Instead of using hexes, we're using an open board, just like you do in a lot of games like Warhammer or Star Wars Armada. Um, I'm making Mouse here. <laughs> here. Let's make him an alien that we have to get around. That, yeah, I did Mickey Mouse. That's right. <laughs> okay. So there's a base ship rating. Um, so the way this is going to work is because you're level one or two or something like that, your proficiency is a three, two. Three, four. Uh huh. And then a you get a one. Four. For three. So you're going to have. Three, four, four. An initial SR of three, which is how far you can move uh, your base. And then this is a living ship. And it's got a maneuverability class of D, which basically means that you can only move one thing per, it, that counts as a turn, to turn. Okay, so you're gonna roll a D20. Mm -hmm. Right now? Yep, and then we'll add two to it, and we'll divide by five. Okay, so 15, 16 I mean, is your you roll. Are we red one? The okay. two red one? Sure. Go ahead, sir. Good job. Good job. <gasps> you should be the captain, sir. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. I mean, where's my sword? Your sword is here. Okay, so 16 divided by 3, that gives you 3, plus you have a base 3, so you get 6 movement points. Okay. Daddy? Okay, yep. Daddy, did I mean, grab me first. Mm hmm. So when we move, we can go six movement points. So we can do six inches. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, but it counts as a point to turn. So for example, if we want to go four and then turn, and when you turn, you turn 60 degrees. It's like if it were a hexagon, imaginary hexagon, you can angle 60 yeah. degrees. Uh -huh. Okay. So we went forward four, a turn counted as one. So that's five. And then you still have one point you can move. So you can move forward one inch. Mm -hmm. And then there's the rule that at the end of every turn, any ship uh, can turn one. So when I say one, though, it's not a turn. It's 60 degrees. So you can go back this way. So that way we'll avoid the asteroid. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So then if there were other ships out here, they would move the same way. You get it? Yeah. Okay. So roll again. We're going to that planet. There you go. Thirteen. So this time it's going to be fourteen, fifteen. So it's also going to give you a plus three. So it's six again. Okay. So you want to move it, mommy? Oh, what am I dying? You might have to walk around. I need. Okay. I need to so six, right? I, yep. I need so we're going to move, move this dice. Yep. And then you want to turn at the end since we're going yeah. to the planet, so you can turn sixty. I'm going to roll. Just sixty. That's one. the max turn. Daddy, That's, daddy, yep. we roll okay. one, two. Now. Good job. If you yeah. want to turn oh, what? twice. I did remember. 20. That's 20. 21. So if you want to turn twice, you can move, turn, then you have to move a little bit further before you can turn again. Yes. Oh, okay. Now for ships with a higher maneuverability class like B, they can move two in one hex. Stop. So they can move 120 degrees instead of just 60. Okay. But this ship can't maneuver like that. Okay. And then we're going to roll one more mummy because we're going to try and get to the planet this turn. Your goal is to get to the planet. 18. Yay! Okay, so plus two for your proficiency, that's 20, so that's four. So you get seven moves this time. Okay, you want to... Is it like... You're trying to get to the planet. There? Yeah, but you can't... You got to go... You got to turn somewhere in there. So you'll have to move a couple, you can move one and then turn if you want. Like this? One, yep, and now you turn. can turn, yep. And then? And then you got six more. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. So you moved one, and then you turn, so that's two. So you got five more, so you can move five. Five more. Yep. And mommy be play, okay? Okay, now you got one, one oh, more to get to the planet. Yep. We're, at, we're going to Earth. Fifteen. Oh, took out poor Mickey. Okay. okay, sorry. So that should be enough to get you to the planet because that's three plus your base of three. 
Oh so that's gonna be six. So you're closer than six inches. Oh from the my gosh. So oh my gosh. Like this? And it's gonna be six? Yep. So oh, you're I'm right there. there. You're like in the middle of our arrive. Arrive. Okay. So that's how we do basic movement. We'll do a full tutorial at some point. Oh, and there's a hundred million balls in it. Not a hundred million balls. It's got big balls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, sir. Yeah. No. So this is a bombard. It's by the gifts, the ultimate spacefaring mercenary. Got a giant cannon with big balls, dragon balls. Yeah, mm -mm, a fire box. Yeah. Start recording and see what happens, I guess. All right. Yar. Just kidding. <laughs>